In this video, we're going to discuss adding an email signup form to your Mosaic website. To do this, we want to go to our seller dashboard into the Mosaic theme settings, scroll down, and you're going to see a custom HTML tag section. Now, this tag section can be used for many things. It can be used to connect your website to Google Analytics. It can be used to connect to Pinterest. It can be connected to other integrations from other platforms, all by simply using a code snippet that the other platform would give you. In this case, we're going to talk about using it for a signup form to collect emails for a newsletter. We're going to be using MailChimp as our example today. But it's important to know that you do not have to use MailChimp. The same concept can be worked for many different email notification or email signup form companies. Uh, so you can certainly use the one you like. And this is just a demo on how to do it in this case with MailChimp. So if I go into my MailChimp here and I go under audience and then signup forms, we're going to see different ways we can create signup forms. I'm going to choose the subscriber pop-up option. I'm going to click select. And the first thing with any of these email programs is going to be designing the type of pop-up I want to have. Uh, we can decide on the layout, for instance. Maybe we want to have the image fall on the right side of this, uh, of this uh, form. I could certainly decide what I want to say up here. We're going to say stay connected. Uh, and maybe if I want to change the color of this, we can change it to, I don't know, we're going to go with a red. Let's just do a red color here. Uh, we can just collect an email, which is what I'd recommend. Oftentimes the less is more approach here, make it so that people are willing to put their email in. If you really want to, you could add requesting their first name, their last name. Heck, you could ask for their birth date if you're going to do birthday emails. Uh, but again, keep in mind, the more you ask for, uh, the more friction there is and the less likelihood someone's going to sign up for it. Maybe we want to change this button to be a different color to match our brand. We'll make the button red. We're going to say uh, sign up now for coupons and special announcements. Then we can also add an image just to make it look a little better. You can create an image. It could be an image of your product. It could be of you. It could just be a generic image that makes it look pretty. In this case, I have an image I uh, uploaded previously of just some paint just to make the form look a little, a little nicer when it pops up on the screen. Uh, I would recommend that along with stay connected, you could say stay connected for 5% off, maybe create a promotion out of, out of the, the sign up form for a reason for them to sign up. And the next thing we want to do is we can look at our success message. If you want to change how you're thanking them for signing up by default, it just says, thanks for subscribing, but you can change that. And now when we go to settings, we can make some other determinations. Maybe we want it to display after 20 seconds of them being on the website or maybe after five seconds. So this pop-up will show up after they've been on it for 20 seconds or maybe after they've scrolled to the middle of the page. Uh, for this demonstration, I will choose immediately just so it's easy for all of you to see it pop up right away when we see it. But I would recommend doing maybe after 20 seconds or after they scroll just so it doesn't pop up immediately. And maybe I also want to do the position. In this case, I'll have it slide from the bottom. So in that case, I've now already created my, my signup form that will pop open on my Mosaic website. The next thing we have to do is we have to connect the site. So I'm simply going to connect, click connect site and I'm going to add my custom domain, which in this case is jollyhive.com. And I will click get started. This gives us that code snippet I was just talking about. And it's as simple as just copying this to your clipboard and pasting it directly into your HTML tag. That's all you have to do. Now, if you have multiple tags, maybe you're doing Google Analytics, Pinterest, MailChimp, all you have to do is add the next tag in line. So just create a space, add the next tag. You can have multiple tags to multiple different platforms if you're integrating more than one. In this case, right now, we're just doing MailChimp. So I'm going to go ahead and just save the MailChimp tag. And there we go. Now, just to make sure it connected properly, MailChimp does give you the ability to check connection. All I have to do is click check connection here and we're going to see success. Your site has been connected. I'll go ahead and turn it on and click close. So we are all set. It is now saved and published and connected. Let's go ahead and test this. I'm going to go into incog incognito mode for testing just to make sure my cache is, uh, is cleared. I'm going to go to jollyhive.com and we're going to see immediately this pops up in the bottom right corner, stay connected, email, they can simply put in, you know, um, uh, support 
at goimagine.com. Maybe that's my email. I'm going to sign up when I click subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. And that now has added that person to my email list, in this case, MailChimp, for me to send newsletters out to. Uh, I hope this was helpful in showing you how easy it is to connect a sign-up form like MailChimp. Again, you can do this for a lot of different applications that give you a an HTML code snippet. Sometimes it's called a head tag. Uh, but again, we'll, we'll continue to give you more uh, information on in the future on how to leverage Mosaic and have a great day. Bye now.